ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for joining us as we come together to remember Lieutenant Joseph Petrosino. To begin, I'd like to introduce Police Officer Adriana Basti for our national anthem. Present. Oh, oh say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Order! Oh. Thank you, Officer Basti. It's now my pleasure to introduce NYPD Assistant Chief Chaplain Monsignor Robert J. Romano for the invocation. All right, right. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks as we come together to do what we as a New York City Police Department do, does so well, and that is to remember our fallen heroes. As we gather here today at the cemetery plot of this great American and this great New Yorker and this great member of our department, Lieutenant Joseph Petrosino, we remember him on his 112th anniversary. We never forget. Lord, we ask you to grant him the gift of eternal life to his family, consolation that they need. And as we gather here today, we pray for all the members of our department, that they might be safe on and off duty. During this crisis that we are in, uh, let us pray for all those who have been taken from us, whether it be from COVID or from 9-11 diseases. We pray for them and we pray for their families. May God bless all of us who come here today to honor this great man. May God bless the NYPD. And as always, may God bless the United States of America. Amen. Thank you, Monsignor. It's now my pleasure to introduce the president of the Columbia Association, Lieutenant Chris Pizzo. Good morning. Welcome, everyone, to the 112th anniversary of the memorial of Lieutenant Joseph Petrosino. First, Monsignor Romano, thank you for all the help with the, the no rain. Thanks for helping the big guy. We appreciate that. <laughs> Please allow me to give you guys a brief biography of this amazing man's life. And I must say this will only be brief because there's just so much that this man did. Lieutenant Petrosino, whose name was originally Giuseppe, was born in Padula on August 30th, 1860. When he was just 13 years old, he came to America with his family in 1973, and they settled in Manhattan. He had to teach himself English, and he had to help support his family. In order to do that, he started polishing shoes near 100 Center Street. So for those who do not know that, that was the original police headquarters and that's uh, of the time. And that is where he met um, a young man by the name of Theodore Roosevelt, who was very impressed with this man. And he took a liking to him and told him about the police department and encouraged him to join. So at the young age of 23, on October 19, 19, uh, 1883, he joined the greatest police department in the world. It is recorded that he is the first uh, member of the New York City Police Department that was able to speak Italian, and not only Italian, but many of the different dialects. When only 12 years old, well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, when only 12 short years on the job, he was promoted to detective sergeant, and they made him the commanding officer of the homicide division, which was, in that day, was a, a remarkable feat with only having, you know, 12 years on the job. The pinnacle of his career came in 1908, when he was promoted to lieutenant and placed in charge of the Italian squad, which is an elite corps of cops that, um, and detectives that were assembled specifically to go after the mafia and organized crime within New York City. 
In March of 1909, Lieutenant Petrosino went on one of the most dangerous assignments still to this day. He traveled to Sicily to gather criminal information on members of the Mafia to have them deported from America. Unfortunately, the press let the word out that he was coming and the Mafia wanted to send a message. On March 12th, 1909, Lieutenant Petrosino was killed by Mafia career criminal Paul Palazzo, who was a member of the Morello crime family. Lieutenant Petrosino did so much that they had two funeral masses for him. One was in Palermo, and then on April 12, 1909, they conducted another funeral rite for him at St. Patrick's Cathedral, where over 200,000 people took part in his funeral procession. Today, he is still countlessly, countlessly remembered with multiple parks and memorials and statues throughout both New York and the, in all of Italy. Most importantly, he is remembered for starting the world's first bomb squad within the police department and many of the tactics that are still used today. Thank you. Thank you, Lieutenant Pizzo. It's now my pleasure to introduce Columbia Association member and Deputy Chief of Patrol Bar of Brooklyn North, Joseph Galata. <clears throat> Good morning. It's truly an honor to be here today. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank um, all the members of the Columbia Association, the ceremony unit, and Senior Romano uh, for being here today uh, and following up on our vow to never forget. When you first become an NYPD police officer, you have a lot of thoughts of what it's going to be like. Um, then as time goes on, you realize you've dedicated yourself to a calling. You've dedicated yourself to a life of service. Today we come together on a fallen hero, someone who dedicated his life to service and someone who died in that service to the city of New York and to the country. Uh, he gave his life for the city and it's something we can never forget, even 112 years later. I'd like to also take a moment to recognize members of the Petrosino Association who put this together. i also like to recognize Joe and Joseph Petrosino. Uh, both dedicated their life to city service and are direct uh, descendants of Joe Petrosino. Uh, one is a DA and a military veteran. Another one as a member of the NYPD who's currently active. I'd also like to recognize Peggy Petrosino, along with the uh, Petrosino Association, who tirelessly follows through and relentlessly never forgets our fallen hero. This is an association that is dedicated to service. Just like every member of the NYPD here, they dedicated them to service, and I, for that, for that, I thank them. I would also like to thank the members of Padula and Palermo, and all people in, in, that are could have watched this in Italy, as we stream it. Um, thank you for not forgetting our member, our NYPD member. That means a lot to us to, to actually be able to speak and talk to and travel with the people from Padula and Palermo, and to see how they take, how they carry on the legacy of this great Italian American. Um, it means a lot to us as members of NYPD, and I want to just take a second to directly thank you uh, for all that you do. Thank you. And thank you, Chief. It's now my pleasure to introduce the President of the Petrosino Association of America, Robert Fonte. Thank you, and uh, good morning. We are again here at Calvary Bay Cemetery to pay tribute and respect and to never forget Lieutenant Joseph, Detective Joseph Petrosino, Giuseppe Petrosino, and all those that continue to protect and serve. I want to recognize and thank the NYPD, Lieutenant Chris Pezzo, Chaplain Monsignor Romano, the ceremonial union again, joining us here today, one year later. They have never forgotten. We also ask you to join us in celebrating the life of Joseph Petrosino, because it's not how he was, how he died, but how he lived. It was a life well served and sacrificed to protect us all. Some 112 years later, still going forward. Unfortunately, we are back to the future, and still see the assassination of officers in our great city, country, and even world. 
We have been plagued by a pandemic just started one year ago, and we mourn the, we mourn the losses of family and friends as we mourn the loss of our hero, Lieutenant Detective Joe Petrosino. Let us go from this hallowed place in Calvary Cemetery and take with us the memory of those that gave their life and those that still protect and serve you, especially during these difficult and trying times. God bless and protect you, your families, and those that serve with honor and distinction. And God bless the Petrosino families here and abroad, our Trinity here and abroad, and these United States of America. Thank you. And thank you, Mr. Fonti. I'll now ask the members of the Honor Guard to please come forward and place the wreath at the grave of Lieutenant Petrosino. Something a little interesting. Uh, Pope Francis this year has dedicated uh, the year in honor of St. Joseph. And seven days from now, we will celebrate the Feast of St. Joseph. And St. Joseph is the patron of the entire church. He watches over it every single day, makes sure that we're all safe. And uh, we come together today, I think, to honor another St. Joseph, uh, one who gave himself uh, for people to be safe and to uh, bring up the whole idea of the Italian culture, the Italian people. Not to look at the Italians in a downward way, but always to look upward. And so uh, today, as we gather here today, we ask the Lord again to give Joe the gift of eternal life. We come together today to remember, and we will always remember. And we place this prayer now in God's holy name. May God bless all of us. May God give us that gift of eternal life as well when it is our day to go. And uh, that we might be able to share in the glory of being with him and with the two St. Josephs. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Monsignor Romano. Ladies and gentlemen, before we conclude, I'll ask everyone to please join us in singing God Bless America, which will be led by police officer Adriana Basti. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains, to the prairies, to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet home. Thank you, Officer Basti. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. On behalf of the members of the Petrosino family and the Petrosino Association, I'd like to thank you all for attending. Please enjoy the rest of your day and have a safe trip home. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to introduce myself. My, my name is Lieutenant Christopher Pizzo, and I'm the president of the NYPD Columbia Association. I'd like to welcome you all who can't make it because of this pandemic to Cavalry Cemetery. And today is the 112th anniversary of the killing of Lieutenant Joseph Petrosino. What you'll be watching is a NYPD memorial service, which includes a wreath laying. 
And the reason we use wreaths are because there's no beginning and no end. So same as you look at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, whether in Rome, in Paris, or in Arlington, uh, Arlington in Washington, you will see that we all use wreaths for that reason. We will have some speakers, and we will then bless the wreath and bless the grave. So I thank you so much for, for joining and coming out to remember this great man, and I hope to see you soon when the pandemic ends. God God bless. Uh, good morning. My name is Anthony Lacaraza, and uh, I'm with the United States Secret Service, formerly uh, with the New York City Police Department. Uh, I'm here to support uh, Joseph Petrosino and the foundation in his memory. Uh, my short story is uh, I was born and raised in blocks away from where uh, Joe Petrosino was on Mulberry, in the streets of Mulberry Street. So for me, being an Italian-American from Mulberry Street and a former New York City police uh, officer, uh, it's an honor and privilege uh, to, be, to, to uh, follow this man on, in his uh, memory and uh, to honor his commitment and his service to our country and to our nation. Thank you. Buongiorno, mi chiamo Vita Scaturro, sono la vicepresidente dell'Associazione Gio Petrosino negli Stati Uniti d'America. Oggi, marzo 12, celebriamo l'anniversario della morte di Gio Petrosino, 112 anni fa. Siamo qui con la polizia di New York uh, per fare la commemorazione. Usualmente molte persone attendono l'evento, ma quest'anno per la pandemia che c'è non, non possono essere presenti. Quello che faremo qui oggi è deporre la corona, sarà benedetta dal, um, dal prete. E alcuni di noi ci chiediamo perché è rotonda. Il segno di essere rotonda come in altre iniziative è perché non c'è inizio e non c'è fine. Siamo tutti molto orgogliosi di continuare sui passi di Gio Petrosino, anche se io non sono parte della Polizia di New York. Sono molto onorata di essere parte di questa associazione, anche come italo-americana. Il nostro orgoglio italiano, oltreoceano, ha l'esempio di Gio Petrosino, un grande eroe. Grazie per partecipare oggi e buona giornata. Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Detective Joseph Petrosino. Uh, we are here today remembering the... Uh the legacy of Lieutenant Giuseppe Petrosino. Um, it's important to my family, but it's even more important to the city of New York and the uh, police department because he was such a pioneer in all the things that he did. Um, he put tools into place uh, for police work that we're still using today. And, uh, you know, we still have to remember his legacy and what he gave to the people of this city and to this country. So today is a truly an honor for uh, us to be here today on the 112th anniversary of the assassination of uh, Joseph Petrosino. Uh, I am truly honored to be here for, for many reasons. Um, the legacy he brought to the police department, the things that he still, that he started, that still are in place today, uh, long-standing legacy. But way more importantly, we're here that, to make that promise that we never forget. And that's what we do uh, in the NYPD. We have members of the Petrosino family today who carried on that legacy as well. Um, and then we have members of the Petrosino Association. We have Bob, um, Vita, uh, and all the board members. I mean, and they do a tremendous job of making sure that that legacy continues. Uh, and Peggy Petrosino, who gives a lot back to the, you know, and they do this because they know it's important that we remember and we continue to remember our fallen officer. So it's truly an honor to be here today. Good morning. My name is Robert Fonte. I am the president of the Lieutenant of America. We are here on the 112th anniversary not of just Petrosino's death, but of, of his legacy that continues on here in America, in Padula, and in, in Palermo. We are here flanked with our, with our men and women in the NYPD who stand and serve proudly with honor and distinction, as Joe Petro, Petrosino did 112 years ago and prior. I want to thank everyone for joining us here this morning on this anniversary, and we must remember never to forget those that serve in our, in, uh, as first responders, those that serve our community, our country, and our state, especially the men and women, because we must never forget and we must always understand what freedom is all about and protecting and serving us. So thank you very much for joining us here today. Look forward to this program as we move forward. I'd like to thank the uh, police department for not uh, forgetting um, Lieutenant Petrosino. Um, uh, and the legacy that he leaves uh, the police department and the uh, actually the world of law enforcement. Uh, his innovative ideas are still being used today and um, the fact that he was murdered over in uh, Palermo being the only 
police officer in the history of the New York City Police Department murdered overseas. Um, I think he's left a, a, a st stamped a, um, a lasting uh, image on the police department. I'm very grateful for the police department to do this uh, almost every year. I want to thank everyone as chairman of the Petrosino Association in America to come to this wreath laying uh, uh, that, uh, on this uh, occasion now that uh, it's over 100 years of uh, the passing of uh, Joe Petrosino by uh, um, an assassination in Italy, and we still recognize him. He is a, a hero. Uh, he is the person who has uh, brought the Italians to the forefront. He is instrumental in uh, making the uh, bomb squad, canine squad, and the undercover squad for the police department that they still use today. A li uh, he was a, a live hero, now he's a, an icon that, we, that the police department will never forget, the Petrosino Association will never forget, and Italy reveres as a hero. And they'll never forget him. So I want to thank everybody for coming to this relay. I'm here today to fulfill a promise that the New York City Police Department always keeps, and that is to remember our dead. And we come together today to remember someone who was killed 112 years ago, but we still remember, Lieutenant Joseph Petrosino, a member of our police department, a hero of America, and a hero of New York City. May he rest in peace. Hi, good morning, I'm Peggy Petrosino, and I'm here today to honor the legacy of Lieutenant Detective Joseph Petrosino of the NYPD. 112 years ago, he sacrificed his life for the community that he was serving, and we still honor him today, and we honor all of our police officers, NYPD and around the world, around our country, and we need to continue to support them. It is so important, especially in this day and age, when the support has dwindled, we really need to step up and do it. And today just shows that after 112 years, this man is still honored. And it's an important, important day. Thank you. I'm Josephine Mayak. I represent the Association of Italian American Educators. I came to pay tribute to Joe Petrosino and to show my respect and love and admiration to the association of the Joe Petrosino. So thank you so much for never forget this wonderful human being who gave his life just to keep us safe. Thank you, Joe Petrosino. We love you.